Chris, you just gone through when there's turnover with with the position coach. I mean, sometimes people underestimate that that takes a while. Like, is it? Do you guys feel like you're finally settling in with him? And yeah, definitely. Our uh, coach Weez has done such a great job. He's really just narrowed down a lot of the, the terms and, and he's kept it real simple. And I think that's helped out so much. You know, he's he's done an outstanding job with just the way because we have a lot of young guys right now. It's just and that's hard for young guys to learn. The, you know plays and the concepts and stuff like that. And he's just done a great job, you know, making everything a little bit more basic. Do you kind of have to do that too on the field? Like, do you find like when you're communicating with guys and they don't pick it up right away, do you kind of have to like simplify things for them sometimes? Yeah, something, you know, sometimes Coach Weasel just tell me to take a guy aside and, you know, try to kind of explain it in, in different terms. And, you know, that helps out sometimes too. So. Co Coach Rules talked about you and Matt kind of going at it and having good battles. How much does that help both of you guys? Oh, uh, it's, you know, it's outstanding. Me and Matt are, you know, he's one of my best friends off the field. You know, we live together. Um, I think me and him are guys that um, on the field that, you know, we can go out there and compete at a high level and then we can keep it on the field, you know, and we can make each other better. And, uh, you know, we're, we're friends off the field. We, we know everything is just between me and him just trying to get better and better each other. You know? do, do you feel also because from both ends of it that neither of you are probably going to face a whole lot better guys when you get in the games, mm -hmm. you know, so you're getting a real good workout with each other. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, just like I said, me and him are out there competing, making each other better. And, you know, for me, it's always great going against, <clears throat> you know, I think my whole career I've always went against some pretty good guys. And I think that's one reason, you know, um, to my success. And I think, you know, I, I love going against Matt every, every play I can. Who are some of the guys in your estimation that have kind of made the most progress in your offensive line from last year to this year? Uh, I think, um, you know, he, he never played last year, but Aaron Ruff, the freshman, um, has definitely made some strides. I think um, I think Shabazz is starting to is starting to get used to the position more and and do a better job. And uh, yeah, those those two guys are, are sticking out in my mind right now. So. How tough was last year? I mean, you guys still had a chance to go to a bowl game, and you did it with an offensive line where, I mean, one week Carter's going from one side of the ball to the other side of the ball, and, and there was just so much shifting around. How, how tough was that to, to keep the offensive line together? Um, yeah, I mean, it was tough. You know, you, we had, I, you know, I had a bunch of guys playing on different sides of me at all, at all, at all the different, in all the different games, and I think, um, you know, that's why Coach Weez tried to tried to make it as simple as possible because, you know, for O line, it's all about communication and knowing what you're doing. And when you got di different guys in there and playing against, playing with different guys, it's just a little bit different. So we just tried to keep everything the same, and uh, you know, it got difficult at times. But you know, like I said, I think coach is doing a great job with coping with that, and I think you know we're doing a lot better this spring. Who are some of the other guys on defense other than Matt that you see? I mean, I know a lot of times you're just kind of looking. At the guys in your immediate line division, but anybody else on defense has caught your eye that's really starting to turn the corner? Uh, yeah, there's a freshman defensive tackle, Michael Dogby. I think he's doing pretty good. Um, you know, he was a scout team guy last year, but this year he's getting in there, getting some reps. And uh, he's he's one guy that's really sticking out to, to me in my mind. But there's a bunch of guys on defense that you can tell are, are making their, their progress. If, if, if you think about it, I mean, this is really the start of your senior year, your last year. I asked Tyler this last week, and he said it's, it's flown by. Do you feel like the yeah. same way? Yeah, I mean, we're already on practice eight out of 15. We're halfway through spring ball, and uh, that's just crazy to think about. You know, I'm just trying to <clears throat> right now just get all these guys to where they need to be and, you know, and get myself to where I need to be so we can win a championship. That's the only thing that's on my mind is walking out here with the ring. So. Okay.